everyone thank you for clicking on this video if you're new hi welcome to my channel but if you're not new for those of you who already happen to be subscribed then you might be a tiny bit confused or surprised right now so before this video starts i want to quickly explain why i decided to change my channel so as some of you might already know this channel was originally started off by my sister however i took over and i tried to do the same thing that she was doing but i realized that maybe it would be a bit more fun for me if i were to do commentary and voiceovers and stuff like that so that's what i'm going to be doing from now on i even gave myself a character and kind of changed my layout a bit um so that's pretty much it because in terms of content i'm still going to do the same things i want to do unboxing still and i definitely want to do more um more business focused videos i look forward to also making hopefully making a uh, gaming videos and also maybe drawing videos uh, but I am open to any suggestions that you guys might have so if you have any ideas for me please leave them in the comments of any video um, but anyway let's get into this unboxing and I hope you guys enjoy this video I'll be talking about the headphones like giving my honest opinion and um, yeah I'll say anything else that I think needs to be said so let's go so before anything, if you are curious, yes, what you're listening to right now is the mic from the headphones that I am unboxing. Um, so this way you guys can form your own opinion on the quality of the mic as I speak. Um, personally, I think they're actually pretty good for being headphones. Um, these are my first headphones ever, so I don't really have any way to compare. Um, but I think they're great for what they are. Um, I'll be sharing my opinion on specific details as the video progresses, but for example, just the whole aesthetic of them, for me, already kind of makes it worth it. Um, they've been on my wishlist for a while, so I definitely knew I wanted to buy them. But anyways, as I unbox the um, actual box, I'm, I'm going to be talking a tiny bit about the shipping, just because some of you might be interested in that as well. So for context... I placed my order on the official website on the 29th of June and they sent me a shipping confirmation on the 7th of July so it did take a while for them to ship my actual order but I was fine with it because I wasn't that desperate for them however that could be something for you guys to consider especially because I have seen other people review um, their products and uh, for example Amazon ships items faster but it could be different for you, I'm not too sure. Um, and then I actually got my headphones on the 18th of June. So in total, the process took like 19 days, I think, um, which is fairly okay, I think, like in my opinion. Um, shipping was a bit pricey, obviously different prices for different countries. So be sure to check that out if you are ordering from the website. But just one complaint I did have was the fact that my tracking number didn't work. Of course, that was probably just like my experience. So it won't happen to you, most likely. But yeah, that was kind of annoying not knowing where my package was all that time. But um, I trusted that it was going to get to me safely. And it did because um, it was like in perfect condition and everything. So um but yeah here is me actually like just i just opened the box and this is the case it was so pretty uh, it was actually one of the reasons why i did buy these headphones um because they came in such a nice case in comparison to the previous uh, non-limited edition headphones because the, li the limited edition headphones they all come in like pretty nice cases This here is the instruction manual and you'll notice in a second that the other side of the page is actually the same image from the front of the box. So basically you can use the instruction manual as a poster and I think that was definitely a good decision of theirs because you can never go wrong with posters and also making things uh, have more than one utility is always a very good option for any business. So under the instruction manual, we find the sound cable, the charging cube, and the charging cable. Um, funnily enough, this was actually another reason why I decided to get these headphones specifically. 
I just thought this charging cable was so pretty and well actually I can't even use it yet because I need an adapter for it but um, speaking about charging I've had these headphones for how long has it been I don't know more than a month and I've only charged them like twice or three times so it's quite good the battery lasts a long time even with the lights on so finally these are the headphones out of the box and I will just say I really like the case that they came in, uh, that's another reason why I did buy these headphones but I just didn't expect it to be as small as it is in real life which is a good thing because um, they just fit so well inside and the size is great for transportation if you ever want to take your headphones somewhere else so yeah I just thought the case is so cute now these headphones actually come in pink, blue and black uh, the blue ones are so nice, I was hesitant on whether I should get those or the pink ones but I decided I could um, try to match with my chair a little more and pink is pink so... Here I'm just downloading their actual app and with the app you can connect your headphones and then you can change the colour and the light mode as well as customise both of them and uh, if we look at the top right corner you'll see that there's a button that has been selected and basically that's just the on and off button for the light and then under that one it's like an ear shape and what that does is it allows you to hear yourself so it plays back what you say in real time that is uh, because these headphones have quite good noise cancellation so sometimes it's just a bit difficult to hear yourself talk In terms of comfort, these headphones are very good. I've had them for a while now and I haven't had any complaints. They don't hurt my head or anything like that and the cushion is very soft and like actually spongy. One of the great features about these headphones is the fact that the mic is detachable and on that same earmuff we can also find the uh, light button which also changes the light mode by double pressing the volume up button, the power button which also indicates uh, whether the headphones are fully charged while they're charging the volume down button and then of course we have the entrance for the sound cable, charging cable and then the mic attachment. So this is what the lights look in a dark environment and I just really love these lights because they're such great quality, the lights are very bright and vibrant and it's such a good advantage for these type of headphones. So definitely consider this as being one of the best aspects. Um, yeah the colours are just so nice and the default options as well.
uh, yeah, this has been kind of my review. I tried my best to give a nice one, but I think it's much easier to just um, reply to questions. So if you do have a question about these headphones, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will answer, like I said before. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope uh, it was a nice change, uh, me doing the voiceover that is. And I hope I'll be able to make more fun videos in the future this way. So definitely tell me suggestions in the comments because um, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> So yeah, if you did stick around to the end of the video, uh, thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>